Hey there, come on in. Are you ready to have some fun today? Join us, let's jump in. One, two, three, let's go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in and join us. Come on in and join us. We'll learn a lot today. We'll sing, learn, have lots of fun. There's something special for everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in and join us. Come on in and join us. We'll learn a lot today. We'll sing, learn, have lots of fun. There's something special for everyone. We'll learn a lot today. Let's go! <laughs> Oh, hi my friends. Welcome to Mr. Pete's Playhouse. It's me, Mr. Pete. <laughs> I am so excited today because I am going on a trip. Can you guess where I'm going? I'll give you three clues. Clue number one, there is warm water all around. <laughs> clue number two, there's lots of tall, big fruit trees like mango and coconut trees. And clue number three, you'll have to go to the airport and hop on a plane. It'll take you a couple of hours to get there. Where do you think I'm going? Hmm, do you think I'm going to some place freezing and cold? Or do you think I'm going to some place tropical and warm? What do you think? That's right. I'm going to somewhere tropical and warm. In fact, this place is actually my home where I was born and grew up in. It is called the United States Virgin Islands. Would you like to learn all about the Virgin Islands with me? You will? Great, let's learn all about the United States Virgin Islands. Let's go. Hello and welcome to the Virgin Islands. I am your tour guide and I will be teaching you all you need to know before you visit the Virgin Islands. First things first, what exactly is the Virgin Islands and where is it? Well, the Virgin Islands is a group of islands in the Caribbean. If you're traveling by plane, it will take you about two and a half hours from Miami, Florida. It has four islands that make up the U.S. Virgin Islands. St. Thomas, where the capital is, Charlotte Amali. Then you have St. John and Water Island, which is right next to St. Thomas. They are the smallest too. And last but not least, you have St. Croix, the largest of the U.S. Virgin Islands. It's a little bit farther down from the other tree up top. People from St. Thomas and St. John is called St. Thomians and St. Johnians. And if you come from St. Croix, you call a Crucian. And all together, they call us Virgin Islanders. So let's talk about our language. English is the main language you will hear throughout the islands. But because of our very diverse community, you will hear a lot of French spoken in St. Thomas. And because of our large Hispanic community in St. Croix, you will hear a lot of Spanish speaking in St. Croix. And although English is our main language, you'll hear us talk with a heavy, heavy accent. And sometimes we'll talk very fast like this, and you've got to listen very close to understand what we say. <laughs> so, before you touch down in the Virgin Islands, you will want to know some of our very common words that we do use. Let's learn how to talk like a Virgin Islander. Repeat after me. To say good morning, say, morning, morning. You say, morning, morning. Good night also means good evening. Say, good night. Good night. To say, I don't know, say, me no. Me no. To say the number three, say, tree. Tree. To ask, where are you? Say, where are you there? Where are you there? To say, you all. Say, 
Ayo or Ayu. Ayo. Ayu. When something amazing happens, say, Me son. Me son. In St. Croix, to say over there, say, Dere. Dere. To ask, how are you doing? Say, what are you saying? What are you saying? To say goodbye, say, I gone later. I gone later. Great job! So now that you know some of the most common words in the Virgin Islands, you may just be ready to come down. So what you waiting for? Come visit the US Virgin Islands. Come on down. We waiting for you. Come down, come down, come down to the Virgin Islands. Come down, come down. We're waiting here for you. Just come down to the Virgin Islands for Sansi and Sun. Yummy food and family. There's something there for your bags and follow me, we're waiting here for you. The U.S. Virgin Islands is an American territory. Denmark sold these islands to the U.S. in 1917. St. Croix, St. Thomas, St. John, Water Island, right next door to Puerto Rico. No passports are ever needed. Jump on the plane, let's go! Just come down to the Virgin Islands for sand, sea, and sun. Yummy food and family, there's something there for everyone. Come down to the Virgin Islands, there's so much we can do. Pack your bags and follow me, we're waiting here for you. St. Croix is called Twin City because it has two towns. There's Frederickstead and Christianstead, historically and culturally proud. St. Thomas called Rock City is where the capital is, Charlotte Amali. Filled with cruise ships and tourists walking around on a shopping spree. St. John called Love City is the smallest of the main three. Its national park protects the animals and the corals under the sea. To get to Love City, we'll jump on a ferry. From Red Hook, we'll sail the seas. 20 minutes to Love City. Just come down to the Virgin Islands for sand, sea, and sun. Yummy food and family, there's something there for everyone. Come down to the Virgin Islands, there's so much we can do. Pack your bags and follow me, we're waiting here for you. Madras is our fabric, and Quilba is our music. We're very big on manners, so make sure you say good morning. Good morning. Kalalu and Punji, yeah, that's our favorite food. And fried fish and Johnny cake, yum, that tops the list too. The U.S. Virgin Islands is a big mountain pot Filled with different cultures and lots of love It's paradise for everyone Just come down to the Virgin Islands For sand, sea and sun Yummy food and family There's something there for everyone Come down to the Virgin Islands There's so much we can do Pack your bags and follow me We're waiting here for you Come down, come down Come down to the Virgin Islands Come down Come down, we're waiting here for you. Come down, come down, come down to the Virgin Islands. Come down, come down, we're waiting here for you. The Virgin Islands is filled with tall green trees everywhere. But the most significant tree to Virgin Islands culture is the mahogany tree. The mahogany tree has been a staple in the Virgin Islands and the Caribbean as a whole for centuries. It is used to build strong, beautiful furniture and building structures. It is also used for other purposes like medicine and as homes for birds and different types of animals. These trees can live for hundreds of years and are used by local families to play games such as marbles and ring around a rosy. Ring around a rosy, a pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. <laughs> <laughs> but one tradition that has been passed down from generation to generation is storytelling underneath the mahogany tree. Let's listen to a story from our friend and local storyteller, Melody. She cast a spell and if anybody used she 
to use a shoe name. And I will have food for my spider family. And Nancy was saving some can. And he made five pounds out of it. And he sat down at one. And he called Mrs. Rabbit. Hey, Mrs. Rabbit, would you like some can for your children? Mrs. Rabbit said, of course. Mrs. Rabbit came running. And Nancy said, I will give you some corn if you tell me how much pals I have. Mrs. Rabbit sat to come. One, two, three, four, five. Mrs. Rabbit fell asleep for saying the witch name. And Auntie took the rabbit home to his wife who cooked it. And they had food for weeks. But as the food was running out, and Auntie decided to do his trick again. But this time, he chose Mr. Squirrel. Mr. Squirrel counted the pals just like Mistress Rabbit and fell asleep for saying the witch name. But as the food was running out again, and Nancy had his eyes set on Mistress Goose. Mistress Goose knew that Aunt Nancy was a trickster and could not be trusted. And Nancy said, I will give you some corn if you tell me how much pals I have. Mistress Goose started to count. One, two, three. Mistress Goose laughed. Ha ha ha! And Nancy jumped up and down, shouting, No, no, that's not the way to count. Do it right. You are supposed to count like one, two, three, four, five. And Nancy fell asleep for saying the witch name. Not only has Mistress Goose tricked the trickster, but she had how many pounds of can? We'll then store it. Take a pen and write your name. The Virgin Islands has a very strong and complicated history from the Arawak and Carib Indians to the seven countries that has bought and sold us over the centuries and the rebellions and uprisings of the enslaved people. But despite all of that, Virgin Islanders have always stuck together and overcame their obstacles to become some of the most successful people in the world today. I've been walking with my face turned to the sun. Weight on my shoulders and a bullet in my gun. Oh, I got eyes in the back of my head just in case I have. I do what I can, what I can, what I can for my people. As the clouds roll back and the stars fill the night, that's when I'm gonna stand up, take my people with me. Together we are going to a brand new home far across the river. Can you hear freedom calling? Calling me to answer, gonna keep on keeping on. I can feel it in my bones. You know what that sound means? We just got a text. Let's see who it's from. It's from our friend Adele. Adele writes Hi, Mr. Pete. When I travel to different places, I always like to eat their food and listen to their music with my family. What foods do people from the Virgin Islands eat and what music do they listen to? Well, Adele, I'm so glad you like to explore and learn about different cultures. Music and food has always been a huge part of Virgin Islands culture. In the Virgin Islands, some of our native foods are Kalalu, which is made from greens and okra, Johnny Cake, which is a fried dough, Fungi, made from cornmeal, 
and lots of different foods to include fish and seafood. We also listen to a great variety of music to include calypso, soca, and reggae. But the native music of the Virgin Islands is called quilbe music or scratch band music. The dance, which is danced to the quilbe music, is called quadrille or quadrille. <laughs> It is a native dance brought to the Virgin Islands in the 1700s from England and the enslaved people adapted it and made it their own to the scratch band music. The traditional clothing and patterns that you will see the dancers wear are called madras. So are you ready to learn the quadrille? Let's dance quadrille to some quilbe music. Let's all join in for the official dance of the Virgin Islands, the Quadrille! Well, my friends, that is it for us today. I hope you had as much fun as I did learning all about the United States Virgin Islands before our trip. As we said in our song, the US and British Virgin Islands is a big melting pot filled with lots of different cultures, but lots of love from our people. So please come down, learn about our culture, our history, and our people, keep the island clean, and preserve our history. And always remember, we drive on the left. <laughs> so, are you ready to sing our goodbye song? Great! Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, friends. We had so much fun today. Clap your hands, friends. If you can't wait to join us again, see you soon, friends. I'll leave you with a smile, say farewell, my friends. We'll see you again next time. We'll see you again next time. Remember to always find music in the noise to love yourself and I love you. I'll see you next time on Mr. Pete's Playhouse. Bye! Hi my friends, you can purchase this exciting book, Rika and the Tamarind Tree, written by Dr. Valrika Bryson, now available at www.lulu.com. There's so many ways for you to keep up with me. 
You can find me on Amazon and Roku apps, and also follow me on my social media pages like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And now I could sing a special happy birthday song to you with my birthday singograms. Don't forget, you can stream my songs on your favorite music streaming services like Apple Music and Spotify. And also, get your Mr. Pete merch at www.mppmerch.com. See you soon!